Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap, Wednesday, April 21st. Uh, nice green day today, plus 747. Let's go over these trades. I'll show you what happened, starting with the Mighty 90s. Two nice winners in the Mighty 90s, one in Facebook for 990, one in Tesla for 375. No pairs trades today. And then on the runners, had a little, little winner in Amazon for 55, Boeing plus 320. Chewy got me for 540 and NVIDIA minus 453. So let's take a look at these, starting with our mighty 90s and starting with Facebook. So Facebook, this was actually two different trades. I uh, had this initial flush lower spike in volume, got long right here, caught this bounce, and then turned right around and, and took this short right here up at the pivot and caught that flush. So two nice back-to-back -back winners, uh, nice trades there, plus 990 total on Facebook. Tesla. Uh, so Tesla was um, started to get strong, kind of pulled back. I was the market was getting getting and staying strong, so I was looking for something to get long. I wasn't crazy about this one because Tesla at that point was actually still down on the day, but I ended up taking a small position here, and uh, based on this uh, mighty 90 signal, and had a big push up, got out of half, and then closed out the rest on this second green bar. Obviously, you see this thing kept pushing. So I went in really small with just a couple contracts. So I didn't have anything left to hold on to for a potential continuation higher. But uh, still a nice profit, plus 375 on that one. On the runners, uh, first one, Amazon. So in Amazon, uh, Amazon was acting strong all day. And, you know, staying in positive territory, came down, bounced back up, came down. And so I ended up getting long right, I think it was on this one here, and cut a little bounce, got out of half, and then when it flushed back down, I ended up cutting out of the last piece and just taking a small winner out of that one, plus 55 on Amazon. Uh, Boeing was plus 320 uh, and Boeing here. So I was looking at this as a, um, uh, could have classified it as a mighty 90, or but I, I managed it like a runner, so I, I, I'm putting it in the runner category. Had this initial strength up here, pulled back when this bar was red, had a little had a little pop in volume for a mighty 90 signal right into the unchanged mark. Uh, ended up turning green before it closed, but I got in right around this area long and rode that up, got out of some here, and then it, when it started chopping around, I just got out of the last piece uh, for a nice $320 winner there. Uh, Chewy got me for $540. Uh, this initial push-up had this big spike in volume, and so when it broke below, uh, I waited for a little bounce back, so I got short right here looking for a potential continuation lower. Uh, didn't happen, just kind of chopped around, and then when it started to push up, I just cut out right there, so took a loss in Chewy. And then NVIDIA, NVIDIA was a couple different trades, uh, and this is part of this was kind of our new failed volume runner strategy technique and so uh initially on this second big volume bar looking for a pullback got got long right in this area and then immediately immediately flush so i ended up just closing it out real quick so it took a little loss on that one and and then turned around and got short looking for a potential continuation lower when it bounced up uh, added to it at the pivot kind of chopped around chopped around for a while i I, it looked like it was wanting to continue higher. So I just I closed out half just to reduce risk, half of my position. Uh, then it did end up, whoa, it did end up uh, coming down like we wanted. I, I held all the way back down to this area here and got out of my last P. So good good exit as, as this thing did continue to bounce off of the unchanged mark. So while it was still a loser, paired back uh, a good portion of that, so it ended up being minus 453. But that is all the trade, so plus 7, what did I say, 747 for the day. Uh, so nice green day, nice uh, all three green days for the week. And so we'll look forward to building on that tomorrow. We're streaming live every day, uh, well, tomorrow and Friday. And then we just posted the new updated live stream schedule in the live stream channel. So look forward to seeing you there. If you guys have any questions, let me know.